Hey, hey, welcome everyone to a new addition to my channel. We're gonna be playing 007 Bloodstone for the PlayStation 3. A little trivia here. Those of you who have been following my channel for many years, they know that my channel originally was a video game channel on the Grand Theft Auto games before it ultimately turned into a Bond channel by 2015. And ever since making that channel switch, I felt kind of fed up with doing video games for YouTube. But in recent months, I've tried to make it a point to make this channel more of a commitment and keep the consistency going with more perseverance and responsibility towards it instead of it just being a pastime uh, where I upload whenever I feel like it. So I thought this would be a nice addition. A game that came out in 2010, it's already considered an old game probably, but it's still the newest Bond game I've ever played. Um, I used to play this like a good eight years ago or so and it looks like I've completed pretty much everything but the multiplayer trophies and just one trophy, this one, it's still aching me in this very day. I just couldn't be bothered to complete it. It's the DB5 level in which you have to complete it in under three minutes and I just, yeah, I never got bothered with it. But the rest I all did, all of this stuff. and. Uh, we're just gonna dive back into this game and have some fun with it. So, let's check it out. Uh, there's also a few intelligence. Yeah, so these were the collectibles you can find scattered in the levels. I've completed all of those as well. I'll probably be showing you uh, in the game too. Uh, we're gonna be starting a new game here. Uh, yeah, sure, why not. So, um, you can play on various difficulties, the field operative, the agent. Basically, you can read these as the um, easy setting, the normal setting, the hard setting, and the very hard setting. Um, you have to complete them on all settings to gain all the trophies, so I must have completed it on all settings. But uh, for now, it's been years since I've played, so we're just going to be playing the game on Field Operative. W7, this is urgent. Priority one. We fear the attack may be imminent. How long until you're on the ground? We should be down in 10 minutes. We haven't got 10 minutes. The satellite is picking up suspicious activity near Greco's boat. You've got to get a move on now. I'm on my way. Change of plans. Head for the harbor. According to our sources, General, Greco has flown in a group of international terrorists for a suicide mission. The plan is for the attack to coincide with the moment they take the group photograph. I can't much care what your sources tell you, Em. We've checked Greco out. He is an international businessman here on vacation. His business, sir, is international arms trading. He'd like to see all the heads of state, all the members of the G20, wiped out in one fell swoop. Is that what your sources are telling you? Or is it your female intuition? I'll thank you to keep my intuition out of this, General. I want you to cancel the photo op now. Impossible. You have to have some faith, some trust in my ability to protect them. You can keep your faith. I put my trust in Bond. So here we are in the shoes of Daniel Craig's 007 and we're just gonna make our first kill here. There we go. Bond, this is Tanner at Tube Branch. Hostile radio chatter shows your landing has gone undetected. Blueprints show Greco's quarters are located on the lower deck. Find him and stop the attack on the G20. 
voice acting from Rory Kinnear as Tanner there. Daniel Craig also voices Bond, of course, and Judy Dance does M. So it's nice to have the uh, regular cast here. This game has a lot of stealth in it, where you can uh, just hide behind walls and sneak up to people. It's a lot of fun, actually. I also prefer the, the third-person Bonds view to the uh, first-person uh, Bond shooters. Maybe that's just me, but I've always really liked to see the character I'm playing as. Um, so let's just take out this dude. There we go. Nice. And we got a focus aim for that, which are basically just uh, press to win buttons, free kills that you can use. Uh, you can carry up to three focus aims at a time. Usually in this game, the goons are having some casual conversations where you can just attack them like this after they're done and slowly take care of them. Just like that. That awards us with another focus aim. So the other two just walked inside there. So we'll do a bit of sneaky bond and uh, get those two as well. And watching a little bit of TV there. I may as well show you the two focus aims I've got so far. It's really just a press of a button. Bada bing, bada boom. And there we go. <laughs> That's pretty badass. So, most of the times, the Bond video games are always influenced by whatever was the most recent Bond film at the time. So, in this particular case, that was Quantum of Solace. So, you'll notice there's no Q yet, there's no Money Penny. Uh, it's still very much in the grittiness of, of Quantum of Solace and Casino Royale. You know, it's not Q guiding us through the levels, it's uh, Bill Tanner. So, uh, let's just go up here and confront Greco. Who the hell are you? Hold off the attack, Greco. It's over. One man against 40? I don't think so. Guts! Deal with him! Alright, let's take out these two clowns. There we go. And there we go. That moment of Bond catching Greco's phone just now in a badass way, that really reminded me of uh, Casino Royale, that moment on the crane. Dude got a nice place here too, bad tub, nice bed. Anyway, let's continue here. Stop him. Let's just take care of this dude. No guards here. This part you just want to stay down because this thing will shoot the shit out of you. Give me that! No! The bigger one! Right, now we move into a boat chase. This is a pretty cool part of the game because from what I remember this was one of the only boat chases in the game. One of the few that Daniel Craig's Bond has ever seen in. Again, pretty reminiscent of uh, Quantum of Solace since that also kind of has a small boat chase. No Mark Forster editing in this game though. There we go, took care of those dudes. Okay. Oh, there we go. And bam, bam, see you, wouldn't want to be you. Good. There we go. This would actually make for a pretty cool pre title sequence, I think, for a bot film. Two more down. Alright, so the lighthouse is going down here. And just uh, sail over it like this. There we go. Pretty action packed opening. We should be reaching the ending soon. Oh, 
Damn. Couldn't get the other guy. Oh well. Oh, oh, crap, crap. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and now we can take out the helicopter just like that. To use the MP5 for a little while. Let's take care of these guys. There we go. You want to slowly make your way in. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't think you've got a health bar in this game either, from what I remember. You know, in the other games that I played, Nightfire, Agent in the Fire, and uh, everything or nothing, I believe most of those games they had like a, like a health bar and you could pick up body armor. So it's not really a thing in this game. You just gotta stay out of the fire or you're dead and you kind of regenerate in a way. Right. There's still no intelligence to be gathered in this level, but from all the other levels onwards, uh, there will be. Ah, it's paradise. Running chicks here. This is the type of place I could really spend my holidays. Got a nice bar here, you got your swimming pool. All looks good right here in Greece. Nice hotel. Yeah, cool. Anyway, Greco. Make a right here. And uh, oh shit! I was not expecting this guy. Gotta stay focused here. Take care of this dude. All right. Can continue safely now. Just be on our guard a little bit more. All right. We can already hear him. Right, we're awarded a free focus aim here. So we may as well use it in a bit. And, uh, oh shit, grenade! I saw that too late. Really gotta pay attention here. Better use the focus aim then. Quickly take care of these guys. There we go, that should be done. Right. No damage done. Move into the next room. No one here. There we go. Nice. Now my years of Grand Theft Auto experience have led to this moment. Always aim for the gasoline tanks. There we go. That one as well. Seems pretty safe. Should be more goons on the way though. Yeah, there they are. Another one. Still had a focus aim left, so may as well use it. And this dude, just take him out like this. Okay, not to get Greco. Bomb Greco. Last chance. Where is it? You're too late. Right, this moves us into another chase, this time in the DBS. Again, very reminiscent of uh, Casino Royale and Quantum of Solace driving this car. 
But it also means that, you know, this car doesn't have any gadgets because at that particular point of the movies, Bond's Aston didn't use gadgets. Which for a video game is kind of a shame because I would have preferred to shoot rockets at this dude. Also, this tunnel feels very Quantum of Solace, the opening. Oh, crap. I guess I was doing what the Alpha was doing in the opening there. The Alfa Romeo 159 used in the opening of Quantum of Solace. That's the car I drive in real life. Alright, better stay focused on the road here this time. So we'll That's take it. a right here. So now it's just a question of speeding up, and BAM, there we go. Fireworks? Did you know there were going to be fireworks? Honestly? Yes. How did you know? Quite honestly, intuition. Nice to see you, 007. I was worried that you wouldn't make it in time. Well, that makes two of us. Well done. Thank you. May I get you something to drink? Yes, I'll have a bourbon, neat. And what can I provide for the gentleman? I'll have... You'll have a vodka martini. I was really hoping Judy Dance would add the shake and not stir to that line. Anyway, we move into the opening titles, performed by uh, Joss Stone. So I hope you enjoyed the first part to this Let's Play. Like and subscribe, follow me on my social media, and if you want to go the extra mile, consider supporting me on Patreon where you can get cool rewards like early access to my new content and much more cool benefits. Stay safe, see you later.